All right, folks, here we go. Um, we are going to be taking another freeway here. This is one of my favorite freeways over here. We're breaking to the right. They pick up some pretty good speeds here. I like it. Are you ready? And then I'm going to tell you about, uh, it was awesome. Last night in the chat room, we got to hear, I believe the guy was with the Air Force. His login name was, had uh, USAF on it. And he shared with us how he was an agnostic and now he's a Christian. And if you go right below this video where it says more info, you can go to our chat room and you'll you'll get to hear some really good testimonies live, testimonials live <clears throat> on uh, in our chat room. We had, <clears throat> excuse me, we had a, recently a Marine that I became friends with, really cool guy also, and he was an atheist, he became a Christian. Let's pick up throttle. Now last night, I gotta tell you, <clears throat> I was talking to a bunch of you guys in there and we had an atheist there and hold on I'm gonna have to get the left lane and have you ever noticed that atheists and bless their sweet little hearts I love them but you ever notice that they always have to really talk about how they're reasonable and rational and and they'll log into my chat room and it'll say rational atheist which is an oxymoron by the way um, or it'll say reason reasonable atheist or logical thinker and it's always the complete opposite in reality of what their names are <laughs> they never think rational or logically but what really surprises me is their lack of scientific knowledge in some cases, to coin a, a phrase mentioned by Dr. William Lane Craig, they bring up things that are worse than magic. Let me explain. Last night we were talking about the creation of the universe. You guys know it as the Big Bang. But the way that these atheists, hold on, I gotta itch my nose. The way that these atheists postulate the Big Bang, the way that they say what the Big Bang is, is not really what the Big Bang has been proven to be by science. What they say, what atheists say happened is, imagine a giant box, if you will, and floating in the box is a infinitesimal speck. And this speck, very condensed, it basically explodes and it creates the earth jupiter you know the moon our moon saturn i mean come on if you tell that to your 12 year old child he'll laugh at you in your face no rational person would believe that but you know i'm going to punch through here and that's not what the big bang postulates the big bang what happened is everything was created in the Big Bang. Energy, space, physical, the physical universe, time, matter. There was nothing. There was no universe before the Big Bang. So if you ever have a person tell you that, well, there was this uh, infinitesimal speck floating out there in the universe and that, no, there was no universe yet. There was nothing. Now there was a song, I believe it was in the 60s, and it said, nothing from nothing is nothing. <laughs> nothing from nothing also brings nothing. Out of nothing, nothing comes. So the Big Bang makes it very difficult because if the person that believes in the Big Bang is an atheist, they must believe that the universe was created by nothing and also for nothing but surely guys this is worse than magic because we know that out of nothing nothing comes uh, and and we say it's worse than magic because at least the magician when he pulls a rabbit out of the hat you have the hat <laughs> and you have the rabbit 
but it just uh, William Lane Craig he talked about this he says you know they, when an atheist has their back up against the wall they will say some things that might surprise you such as the universe was created out of nothing um, which we see nowhere in science we know that everything that begins to exist has a cause the universe began to exist therefore it has a cause everything that begins to exist remember has a cause the universe began to exist therefore it has a cause and I'm going to give it some throttle here to go through here so it's worse than magic what these uh, atheist unbelievers are positing hold on let me pick up speed in the moment nothing from nothing is nothing <laughs> you can't get everything from nothing okay this is the part where everybody merges and I almost get killed every time with this white BMW car or Honda right here behind this van I'll just kick back here for a while okay so that is not the Big Bang doesn't say that there was this infinitesimal pellet and then it expanded and all that that's not what happened there was nothing so you have to really think about this is this is worse than magic the atheist wants you to believe that out of nothing everything was created that's not science we know out of nothing nothing comes I mentioned that let's go through here now last night you know I was talking to the atheist I'm like why is it so hard for you guys just to admit the truth that God exists is, is that hard to admit that you're wrong is it really that hard and here's what's really embarrassing I get embarrassed for him rather than going where the evidence guides us I mean heck it's not like only 2.3 percent of the world uh, are theists it's actually 2.3 percent of the world are atheists and over 90 percent of the world are theists so it's not like you know you're going to be an outcast and ridiculed if you're a theist the majority of the world are theists now you may be outcast and ridiculed if you're an atheist because you're not following what science clearly says um, now if you guys want to debate with us you want to talk with us come on in and explain to us how give us some scientific evidence how the universe was created out of nothing and where's the evidence of it because do you know the way that science is going now and also I'm going to quote Stephen Hawking he says and I'm quoting him it's pretty much agreed upon by scientists around the world that the universe had a beginning remember the premise everything that begins to exist has a cause the universe began to exist therefore the universe has a cause now isn't it amazing that the Big Bang the way it really happened is what the Christian theist has said since the beginning of time that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth that is the rational let me put through here boy it's tight squeeze that is the the rational worldview if you guys are postulating that the universe just popped into being not just popped into being but exquisitely fine-tuned there's over 40 constants I checked there's about 50 constants that need to be exquisitely fine-tuned in order for there to not just uh, be a universe that uh, sustains life even in the Big Bang itself it had to be fine-tuned or the universe would have just re-collapsed into a hot fireball and I'm quoting Stephen Hawking he talks about this now here's what I suggest 
go to my, I'm going to give you some proof and evidence that there's no possible way atheists are right. Um, and before I wrap up this video, you know, the way logical people come to a conclusion is you look at all the proof and evidence and then you say, which one is more plausible? The word is plausible, my friend. Which one, let's punch it here, is more plausible? And I'm telling you, ask a thousand people. I do this all the time. I'll ask person after person, and I mean not a thousand at once, but over time, I have asked over a thousand people, what is more plausible to you? That the universe was created by God, exquisitely fine-tuned to sustain life, and or that the universe just popped into existence, fine-tuned out of nothing. This humble biker has no problem discerning between which of those is more plausible. But why is it, my atheist friend, that when it gets face to face with God, and it's obviously God, you just will fall on your sword and you will use the magical theory it came out of nothing. Well, check out um, this website. I'm going to give you some scientific proof and evidence, which even um, the head of NASA's Goddard Institute, you'll see the quote there, he said, quote, uh, this is the most powerful evidence for God ever to come out of science, unquote. And this guy, it was the head of NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies. Click right below here, go to shockonnow.net. You can get some free stuff there also. And if you want to go ahead and see how the atheists are wrong, click links, L-I-N-K-S, right below here. And when you're there, go through some of those links, scientific evidence that atheists are wrong. And the Christian theist has always been right, which we've all known that. We've all known that. It's pretty much obvious. Now, um, there's an atheist on YouTube, the, the, the Thunderfoot, you know who he is, and he was in a little debate conversation with um, Ray Comfort. And Ray Comfort asked him, do you believe the universe is eternal? And Thunderfoot knows the universe is not eternal. The major scientists of the world and also Stephen Hawking says most scientists know now and it's agreed upon that the universe had a beginning. Well, then it's not eternal. But Thunderfoot says he knows he can't say no, it's not eternal because then he has to explain why the universe, how the universe came from nothing. You can't do it, guys. You can't do it. So uh, Thunderfoot falls on his sword in this little debate and he goes, I don't know. He doesn't know. You want to see that video, click right below here, shockanow.net, click links, and watch that. No, Thunderfoot, come on, man, be honest. We do know. Most of the scientists in the world, and you, and I'm quoting uh, an atheist even, Stephen Hawking, he says that it's pretty much agreed upon by most of the scientists around the world that the universe had a beginning. And in fact, <clears throat> in fact, this is where modern science in 2011 is even moving closer. It's not moving away from the fact that the universe had a beginning. So remember, my buckaroos, everything that begins to exist has a cause. The universe began to exist, therefore it has a cause. And the cause can't be nothing, <laughs> because that's worse than magic. God bless you guys. I'll see you tonight right here below, shockonnow.net. Don't forget to get your free goodies when you're there. we got lots of free software, free games. You can go into our chat room. You can hear some ex-atheist agnostics share their testimony. But please, don't say the unscientific thing that nothing created everything. Please, don't say that. That's worse than magic. And it just, just doesn't make sense.